paying attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels troll. You know, that's brilliant. Uh, frauditor troll. He made these shirts with me. So we got the 222, 333, and the 444. Guacamole. Heather Ray TV. Oh, yeah. Guacamole. Reasonable. Articulo. His name was Chad. Chad. I live here. Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, Amagansett Press gets into a confrontation with an angry citizen, but he is too scared to use his pepper spray because it is not a 60-year-old lady. So instead, what does he do? He runs to the police. Enjoy the video. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Amagansett Press coming to you today from Denver, Colorado. And we are at the Denver Police Department at the District 3 headquarters. Uh, we are at the corner of South University Boulevard and Iowa Avenue. And uh, we're going to pay a little visit on these folks today and find out if they honor and respect our... Yada, yada, yada. See if they're going to respect your right to harass regular citizens. Yeah, we know the drill. Let's get to the fun part. All right, so this is the first time I've seen this on the police department. Okay, so no video recording is allowed in the Denver Police District 3 station without prior permission from the Chief of Police. Okay. You want to hold my camera and I'll go in there and see if I can get permission from the Chief of Police okay. to let us in? Right back. Wow, a frauditor actually obeying a sign? I cannot believe it. Although this is an old video because I thought it was really relevant to show how much of a pussy Amagansett Press is when he's confronted by a man. It's all good to pepper spray 60 year old women, but when it's a man, oh no, gotta run to the police. Can't film inside. That guy came out all chilly. Who? He just walked out. Well, he said we're okay outside, obviously, um, but just not inside. Those who violate this order are subject to arrest under CRS 18-9-117 by order of the chief of police. So uh, they're claiming that it is a Colorado revised statute, and there is a statute number listed on the sign out here, so we're going to have to look into that. Um, the officer inside gave me the phone number to the chief's office uh which is i put the e before i i'm dyslexic um so to ask for permission to record inside district three uh seven two zero nine one three six zero one zero that's the chief's office for permission uh so if anybody's interested in filming you certainly have the right to call the chief's office and request permission uh because on the sign here it says that you need the chief's permission to be able to do that okay great job captain obvious now let's move to the confrontation I'll hang around here by the gate for a little while and see if we can get a couple of cars going in and out for some B-roll. Would you guys snitch us out? Would you guys snitch us out? Tell the cops there were some bad guys with cameras wandering around the neighborhood? This is such a prime example of Amagansett Press being a piece of shit instigator. The construction workers were minding their own business, and here you are aggravating them and initiating the confrontation. Oh, okay. I was just asking. Just asking. That's, that's what I heard. Yeah, so while we were inside, these guys were having a little conversation with the cops, filling them in. Whenever we do these things, I have other people around keeping an eye on things for me, my vehicle and uh, the area. So, I got a text while I was inside the uh, police department that these construction guys out here were telling the cops what we were doing, which is fine, I don't care, but 
I usually live by the uh, live by the mantra: you mind your own business. What's that? No, it's better than it's better than sweeping street uh, sweeping dirt off the street. I'll tell you that. Hey. I'd rather do what I'm doing, man. Hey, but look though, I'm not the police. I didn't say you were. So 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 by rights, if I wanted to snatch. What are you walking up? What are you walking up to him for? Look, if I wanted to snatch the camera out of his hand, I'm not the police. If you try to snatch the camera out of his hand, I'll break your neck, bro. You. <laughs> Serious? Look, it ain't nothing you Listen, can do to me, bro. You're gonna it really? It's nothing you're you gonna can do touch to me. My, yeah. Don't put it in my what face. What are you gonna do? put it in my face? What are you gonna do? Listen. What are you gonna? Do? Fucking you, you get got, my face? You got nice boobs. <laughs> you understand, bro? I got two. Back up. I got big back up. You understand? Back up. Or what, Jason? Or what? You're gonna pepper spray him? He's not a 65 year old lady, so you don't have the guts to pepper spray him. Back up, motherfucker. Get your hand off. Get your hand off. This is silver. Get your hand off. I just want to. I'm gonna press charges against you, sorry. Because I want to hug? Back up. Because I want to hug. Back up. No. You just got in my face. No. Now you're gonna back up. No. Yes, you are. Now you're touching me with your belly. You think I get about you, touching you, you just push my camera. Do you, do you work out? Yo, do you work out? Yo, now look at the coward. He disengages because he's terrified for his life and he runs to the police for help. All of them. I'll press the charges again. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> I'm out here with my son, okay, taking video on a public side. This guy just walked up and grabbed my camera, no, I'm, chest I'm bumped me, it's all on video. So he just assaulted me and I want to press charges against him. She's got it on video, he's got it on video. I want to show you the video and I want him arrested. Okay. Well, give us a minute, okay? I'll give you all the time you need, sir. Thank you. You got it. Hey, you talk to him and I'm going to talk to him. You go talk to whoever you got to talk to, brother. No, you talk to him and I'm going to talk to him. I got you all on camera, three different ways. Talk to him and I'm going to talk to him. You go try to tell your wife what to do, don't talk to me. So I'm out here on the sidewalk. Orange shirt, tan pants, the other one. Back up a little bit. The other one's gonna be a white male. Blue shirt, it's a blue pullover and blue jeans, and a, there's a female out here as well. Okay, what's right, going on? So I came in and checked with you if it was okay for me to be out here filming. You gave me permission, said it was, right? Confirm right. that I'm allowed to be. You're in public? I'm, I'm standing on the Honestly, Jason, let me explain it to the officer. You see, officer, I'm again suppressed as a coward, and he started a fight that he couldn't win. So now he's running to you for help. Sidewalk, that guy just walked up, grabbed my camera, twisted my arm down with my camera in my hand, walked up and chest bumped me. He was this close to my face, my son and my wife, okay. had the whole thing on video. I want him arrested, I want to press charges. Okay, you were up. In Standing his face. right on the sidewalk. You were in his face as well. I was watching from over there. Man. He walked up to my face. Where was I going to do? Try to snatch a camera out of his hand. I'll break your neck, bro. You, you, look, it ain't nothing Listen. you can do to me, bro. Okay. You can back up. No, I have the whole thing on video. Okay. That's okay. Fine. So stop defending him. And I'm that's telling fine. you right now, I want to press charges against okay. him. Otherwise, you're next. Don't raise your voice at me. I'll raise my voice all I want. Trying to get help I'll from raise me. my okay. voice all Why don't I want. You stand over there, and I'm going to go. It's a free country. You. I'm going to walk down the sidewalk. Always remember, guys, when you need help from the police, the best way to go about it is to threaten them and treat them like shit. That way, they will be more inclined to help you. Stop trying to tell me what to do. I don't need your unlawful directives. I just got assaulted. Okay, and I want charges pressed against that guy. I'm not looking for a lawsuit. I, if I wanted a lawsuit, I'd sue you. Okay, I just got assaulted, buddy. I just got assaulted. And you're going to do your job. You're going to do your job is what you're going to do, boy. So move it. Move it. You're going to do your job. Because I have a camera in my hand, you're not going to sit here and authorize somebody to freaking attack me. I just got assaulted. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for doing your job. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Who's in charge here? Good. Who's the one that's got the level head that I can have a civil conversation with? Well, I'd like to think we all do. How are you? Good. Well, my name is Jason. Pleasure Adam. to meet you. Sergeant Rives. Nice to meet Sergeant you. Sergeant Rives? Rives. Rives. I'm okay. sorry. Nobody ever gets And ready. what's your name, sir? Right card. Mike. Jason. Nice Jason. to meet you. How are you? All right. So, 
I went into the police department, mm -hmm. okay, had a conversation with the officer that's in there now. Okay. Asked him if it was okay for us to be outside filming on public sidewalk. He said, yes, it is. Just can't film inside the station. Correct. I left my cat. For those who aren't familiar, that's his wife in the background. And I don't know how she does it to marry such a clown and have to deal with him on a daily basis. That woman is a trooper. But then again, she might just be as crazy as he is. I'm outside. I respected that. Came out here. This is my son. This is my wife. Okay. So we're standing out here. I was right here. I'm on the public sidewalk, out of the way of your driveway, not blocking anything. This guy decides he's going to walk up to me, grabs my camera, twists my arm down, and then chest bumps me and gets this close to me standing in my face. One of these guys? Yes, one of the construction guys. Okay. Okay. So I want to press charges against him for assault. Okay. That's where we're at. So you, do you have that on film? My, uh, well, it was my, he's got it, yeah. Okay. You, would you mind showing it to me? Yeah, you can turn it off and show it to him. I got you. So wh what was the issue? I mean, why would... He didn't like it that I was out here filming. Uh, correction. Actually, what happened is that you initiated a conversation with him. You started talking shit, and then you got a lot more than what you bargained for. Okay. Yeah, he started coming up to me first, and then... He started getting insulting, saying to me, you know, if you guys have nothing better to do with your lives than record. I'm like, what are you talking about? So he was saying something off. So then I said to him, hey, listen, I'd rather be doing that than sweeping dirt off the street. Okay. You know, you're going to throw something at me, I'll throw something at you. But I don't get physical with people. Understood. Okay, he walked, you're going to see it. He walked up, he grabbed my camera, twisted the whole... Wait, did this idiot just say I don't get physical with people? You just pepper sprayed an older lady a few days ago. Like, what are you talking about? Whole thing down. And that's unacceptable. You don't put your hands on somebody. Started from here. Okay. So he walks up to me first. He walks up to my son who's 16 years old and gets in his face. So why would you bring a 16 year old in such dangerous activities where you harass and piss off people? Wouldn't that make you the bad parent? Did they feel like you guys were filming them? Is that what the problem was? It doesn't matter what he feels like. I don't care. I mean, I'm standing just, on the public is, sidewalk. Is the issue he had? saying he was going to snatch the camera out of my hand. There's a disconnect between law enforcement and the community these days. Okay? I'll point you in the so direction of what I do. Can you show me the and you'll see what I do. What I do is try to close that divide. I'm trying so to create dialogue. You, I went into your department very respectfully, right spoke to your officers. So we're not out here looking for problems. Okay, but when I get physically assaulted and somebody approaches my 16-year-old son, a grown man, that's a problem. No, he's a grown man. He's 16 years old. That's fine. He thinks this guy walked up to him and said he was going to snatch his camera out of his hand. And your police officer was very rude. Okay. Okay. And your police officer actually said to me, you deserve it because you're looking for a lawsuit. Well, then what that means is that the police officer saw right through your game because you do deserve it. And what you are looking for is a lawsuit. You want to be attacked. That way you can file a lawsuit and make money. Exactly. Okay. So let me tell you something on that note. I'm 50 years old. Two weeks ago, never sued anybody in my life. Cool. Never. Me neither. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. You can look up my record from the day I was born. I don't sue people. That's not what I'm out here for. Well, but you, well, but your your officer there is very presumptuous assuming that that's what I'm doing out here. Yeah, I, I wish you would. Yeah. All right. Anything else we can do for you guys? Yeah, arrest this guy for no. physically assaulting me. Do that. You didn't even see the film. I, I, what makes you say that? I said I don't think. I don't know for sure. So it's okay to walk up. So if I walk up to you right now and rip your body camera off your chest, you're going to let me do that? Is that okay? Come on, Sergeant Reichardt. We're having a serious conversation here. That doesn't sound serious. You know, that was serious. Yeah, that one. Gross. It's not. It's a real question. He walked up. He grabbed my camera, twisted the whole, twisted my whole arm down. It's on video on two different, ca three different cameras. And I saw it all. So I can prove it happened. I did nothing to initiate it. Here we go again with the lies. You are talking shit to him. You initiated this whole situation. So what do you do? You just let people assault people here in Denver, Colorado? Yeah. Is that the way? Seriously, I'm not. I don't think From it's what funny. I'm observing on the video here, this doesn't rise to the level of an assault. Okay. So can I grab your body camera and twist? It? Is that all right Can with you? you? Grab my body camera. Yeah, you're gonna let me do that? 
Why would I let you do that? Why would I let him do that? Why would you do that in the first place? Yeah, I don't understand. Why would he do that in the first place? Well, the can, point I'm trying to make is, is that you guys are walking well, up to let's, each other. Let's make the point. Go ahead. The point I'm trying to make is I didn't put my hands on anybody. Okay. It's against the law to put your hands on somebody. It's called unsolicited touching in New York. I don't know what you call it here in Colorado. We're not New York. So it's legal to touch people on when they're when they're not interested in being touched We're in Colorado? Not in New York. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Are we in New York? Obviously we're not in New York, sir. What I'm asking you is, is, is let, place. let's go back to let's go back to the the initial thing. The, the the fact that you walk up to him with your camera like this in his face and he just pushes it out of the way doesn't constitute an assault. Of course he it does. No. Of course it does. We've we've explained that it doesn't. It doesn't. I think our, I think it our doesn't job constitute is done assault here. I need your business card. I need your business card, and I'll be going to the district attorney's office. Yep. Of course you're gonna turn into a complete Karen but it doesn't look like you're gonna get anywhere today. You're not gonna falsely accuse this guy of assaulting you. Just grow a pair, okay? Anyways, moving on to the next clip. We have Chili getting really, really triggered and doing kind of a temper tantrum. Check it out. My hair is a mess. I've been cleaning, I've been moving all day. I got stuff I've been doing all day, so I've, I've just kind of been a little bit, I'm a little disheveled right now. I've been just working my butt off all day. My hair is funny. I haven't done my hair today, it doesn't matter. So if it really doesn't matter, why did you spend the last 20 seconds talking about your hair? My car drives itself, I don't have to do anything. But that's not the point, that's not the point. I'm not gonna listen to the peanut gallery throw peanuts at me as I explain things and I break things down. I'm not gonna do it. Go do something else with your time. If you're so worried about me, go worry about yourself. It's just so disgusting. I saw the body cam, Naven. Naven, what are you doing in here, dude? I blocked your account a long time ago. I unblocked you, and now you're here being a jerk again. I'll, I'll block you permanently again, dude. It's up to you. I don't give a damn about, about I don't care, dude. Yes, because like most of the idiots we cover on this channel, he has very, very thin skin. So as soon as you insult him or even challenge his point of view, he will block you. If you're not a part of the movement for change, I don't care what you do or where you go. I don't care. I just don't care. Why don't you figure out what to do with your life instead of throwing peanuts at people on YouTube? You, you literally are a guy from the peanut gallery throwing peanuts at people who do stuff. It's just ridiculous, Naven. I blocked you before permanently. I just unblocked everybody. And the first day you're allowed back in, you start being a jerk. It's not you that I'm pissed off about, Naven. You're a nothing and a nobody who doesn't do anything for anybody but yourself. And so you don't care about anybody else. And this uh, internal, uh, th there's no internal YouTube war. There's people who are full of garbage, who are literally just scamming people for views and likes and comments, sucking the energy that I, d that I put off so that they can get views. Once again, we have an idiot that doesn't understand what a commentary channel is. A commentary channel reacts to certain videos, dissects them, and puts their own opinions into the video. That's what these people don't understand. And it's so simple, but yet they refuse to grasp this simple concept. They'll put a picture of me in handcuffs as their thumbnail, and then it's the number one video on their page. I mean, I'll tell you what, that Great Lake audits, you must feel like a real douche Great Lake. You must feel like a douchebag because you are a douchebag. You put a video of me in handcuffs and let our conversation go, and it's your number one video. You do all these audits, you try oh so hard, but your number one video is me. What a joke. It's just, what a joke. It is what a joke. You know, well, Icarus, you just are trolling me, bro, and I've just about had enough. You were putting a time out, and that's fine, but Icarus, I don't need your crap, dude. I'm trying to change things here, and I am running for governor. So, so don't don't start with your crap. With yesterday, I learned a new word, and it represents Chile really well. It's called a lol cow. A lol cow is a person you get extensive laughs from, who doesn't know they are being made fun of. They can often think they are admired for what they are doing, but secretly are being laughed at constantly. Hmm, kind of sounds like Chile me dude I want to stay focused on change because you know what if that filthy pig who had gone over to arrest the 14 year old girl if he had had goggles on that everybody can see what he sees and a headset with two different agencies in it and he said oh I'm investigating this 14 year old girl for smacking her boyfriend and then what happens and then what happens then you hear in the headset the Montesquieu agency says leave her alone 
Leave her alone. She's a 14 year old girl who had a falling out with her boyfriend. Leave her alone. But you see, you do need people who are willing to follow orders to some level. But you follow the orders of the Constitution of the Bill of Rights. I'll leave this on you. Shit, calm down, Chili. It sounds like you're casting a spell there. Hey, Court, you're 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 also on the verge of being gone. Just so you know, I'm I'm done with you, stupid trolls. I'm not gonna be just trolled by you, stupid people who don't offer anything. Hey, court, when you let me know the lawsuits you filed this year, when you let me know how many people that you helped them out when they got cheated by the cops, all right? When that happens, you let me know, and then I'll, I'll, I'll let you come and, and troll me all you want. But let me know when you actually help people. Hey, I've only had uh, two coffees today. I'm, in, I'm, I'm due for a triple espresso. I... Okay, so you've only had two coffees. But how many lines of cocaine have you had today? Because you seem very hyper. I really need a triple espresso. I really do. I really need one. But I'm following a U-Haul right now. I, I help my buddy. I mean, these hands have been working so... You see that? Look at my hands. That's from three days of moving stuff. Three days straight. Someone just talking trash. Don't worry about it. I know you've been here since the beginning, Mandy. I, I, you know, it's just, it's just silly. What's going on, David Condon? Help me get them. Help me get those pigs. You are a real low life scum bucket. They found no wrongdoing, huh? They found no wrongdoing. So we only have a little bit of time. I'm 47. If I live past 67 without someone hurting me first, if I live to 67, I don't know if my heart is going to make it past 70, you know, because I literally feel the pain of others. I feel watching. So here he's trying to sound emotional, but the only thing he's succeeding at doing is licking his lips, which is really creepy. I will unblock Naven. I'm just triggered right now. And the guy comes in here talking trash. But how many people has he helped this year? How many people has he helped last year? How, how, how attached to the movement is he? I just don't need the, the trolling. I don't need trolling from people who act like they're my friends. I don't need it. You know, I'm trying to change things. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed or not, but I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated, man. I'm not I'm not joking kind of. I'm not half in on this. I'm all the way in on this. You know? Yeah, you have to be dedicated because your acting career went nowhere and here you are at 47 year old and your only chance of making some money is on YouTube. I am a state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling in Alaska. I won the state tournament my senior year in Greco, and I won the state tournament in freestyle my senior year. I didn't get scored on in freestyle, not one point in the freestyle state tournament. So that's that's my history. And I didn't get scored on in Greco either. I didn't get scored on in either one. So there it is. There is what? Even if that was true, it doesn't mean anything. You're still a piece of shit scumbag. And as a matter of fact, when I won those state tournament in, in uh, freestyle in Greco my senior year, uh, John Smith, the Olympian, was in my hometown and he's the guy who gave me my state championship medals because I never won the state tournament in high school. I woulda, coulda, shoulda won the state tournament all four years, my freshman year year my sophomore year my junior year and my senior year as a matter of fact my freshman year i beat the kid who took second state but then i was ineligible and my sophomore year i beat the kid who won state and i was ineligible and then my junior year i took fourth and my senior year i took third both years i was upset and i should have won both i should have won both tournaments but i should have won the straight tournament all four years but i i had a i told you i was baptized in the fire and so i've been through some things that i don't want to talk about out loud I've been through some things. It made me the way that I am. Well, I think I've had enough of Chili for today. 
So remember guys, the moral of the story is that Amagansett Press is a coward and that Chili is an attention seeking you know what. So thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and we'll see you on the next video. If you are interested in buying some official Frauditor Troll merch, please check out frauditortroll.com. Thank you.